Everybody knows that a makeover usually involves changing one's appearance. It could be a new haircut, a new hair color, a new wardrobe, or even a new makeup routine. It's all about what you see on the outside. But have you ever thought of making over not just your looks, but your entire lifestyle? Improving not only your appearance, but your routines as well, like diet, health, and fitness? And if you need a little push in the right direction, well, that's what we're here for. I'm Tarelli Carlos. And I am Maggie Wilson, and this is FinFab, your ultimate guide to being a better you. Reach for the sky, dance to the beat, yeah. Pamper yourself, go all out, yeah. Be fit, be fit, be fair. This is your time to be all that. Be fit, ooh, be fair. This is your time. We've got everything under the sun to make you over. We've got surfing, helping you quit smoking, dealing with dress codes, skin whitening, and dealing with flat feet. And to start off tonight's show, they're at Surf's Up. Yeah, like totally awesome, dude. <laughs> Just kidding. But really, Maggie and I did go surfing. That's right. You know, prior to trying out surfing, me and Tara has never tried surfing in our entire lives. Never. But right? surfing looking uh, kind of attire, yes. Mm -hmm. But never really tried. But I've always wanted to try it. Me too. Even Max, after Blue Crush. I know. So brown. Right? I wanted to try out surfing. It was like the total hot, like, you know, surfing movie for chicks. Yes. But all of them had such great bodies. Exactly. You know, a lot of Hollywood celebrities like Cameron Diaz and all the other celebrities, you know, that's how they work out. That's how they get their bodies. That's that's their workout. Oh, right? no, I can imagine why. Diba? Kasi ang saya niya. Tapos mm -hmm. yung workout pa talaga yung katawan mo. So, talagang win-win situation siya for you. That's right. So, hang 10 with us and the Philippine Surfing Academy for tonight's Surfing Safari. Surfing is probably the greatest natural activity anyone could ever get into. Most surfers attest that you'll always get a natural high from riding the waves. Surfing is a natural activity. Ibig sabihin nun, kahit sa beach sa buong mundo, may makikita kang bata na naglalaro dyan sa tubig. So may makikita ka, may hawak siyang kahoy or something, plywood, ganyan, at sasakay niya yung alon. Kasi natural talaga eh. Natural na yan yung gagawin mo dapat sa dagat pag may alon. The Philippines is virtually the world's best kept surfing secret, which is why Paolo, a veteran Filipino surfer, has worked tirelessly for almost a decade to promote the sport both internationally and locally. I started a company called Soul Adventure Incorporated, and its main product was really to take surfers from, uh, from abroad, take them around the Philippines on uh, surf charters. Since surfing is a seasonal thing in the Philippines, um, I decided to get into surf schools. And so Paolo, along with other passionate surfers, banded together to form the Philippine Surfing Academy to promote the sport and bring it closer to home. We're here to train people how to learn how to surf and how to really make it become their passion and you know, not just a hobby. Hindi po siya ganun kadali, lalo na kung hindi ka swimmer, medyo my slight disadvantage ka dahil nga nakakapagod talaga sinasanay yung uh, yung upper body strength sa pagpapado I'm here at Club Manila East in Taytay Rizal with a mock up of a sea with blue water and waves where one can learn and experience the joys of surfing in the safest and most controlled environment possible Today I am going to experience one of life's finest pleasures riding a wave Like any other sport surfing requires a lot of practice and getting used to However, because of the distance of the surf spots from the city, as well as the unpredictable weather conditions during surf season, learning how to surf can be a hassle. So if you can't surf outdoors, guess what? Thanks to the Surfing Academy, you can now surf indoors. When it comes to learning the basics of surfing, there are a lot of elements that need to be considered, like good waves, good equipment, and good instructions from the pros. Okay, first things first, let's study our equipment, okay? According to Paolo, choosing the right surfboard may be the most important decision you'll ever make as a surfer. The surfboard, whether it be long or shortboard, must be round, floaty, soft, and most importantly, sturdy. 
It should have a large surface area where you can practice your balance skills and is a lot more buoyant where you can easily float, paddle and stand on. Okay, this is just to keep you attached to your surfboard. Para pag na wipe out ka, wipe out meaning if you fall off your board accidentally, hindi mo na kailangan habulin yung board mo. When it comes to the leg rope, a couple of things should not be forgotten. Number one, don't drag it. Doing this might cause harm to you or to others when a strong wave comes. And number two, do not wrap your leg rope around your hand as this might hurt or break your hand. To properly catch a wave, lay your body on the deck of your board while keeping your chest above the center point of the board. Paddle with the crawl stroke, arms alternating with each other. This will give you constant speed so you can effectively ride the next wave. Like, sort of like and now for the proper surfing stance. Keep your knees a little bit bent with your arms wide on your side for balance. And when you think you're going to fall off, do the sable position. Now it's time to hit the water. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Right. The beach wave wave pool just keeps generating perfect mechanical waves, great for practicing and learning just with a push of a button. Surfing is really a great fitness activity. It works on the upper body when you're stroking through the water and the lower body when you're balancing, standing and riding a wave. It is also good for toning your muscles and increasing your endurance and energy levels. Actually, Teres, what we call an ideal student, okay, because we didn't have a problem with her standing up and, and balancing and riding in. Hey, Mala, hindi yata lampa si Teres ngayon. Di ako papayag. I have to do better. And I will do better. I think I did pretty good considering you know I was expecting the worst because <laughs> I feeling ko yung first time na pag, yung pag attempt ko to actually stand up on the board I felt like I was gonna fall because syempre you're in the water it's it's all new to you it's so alien to you you're not used to balancing on a on a surfboard in the water diba adrenaline rush it's the best feeling in the world I swear to god you guys should really try it out I'm I'm so serious it's so much fun both of them had excellent balance and um, they both stood up successfully and properly on the first try. And the, fir and the succeeding tries after that, they were also able to stand up properly. Like other sports activities, the health benefits of surfing are numerous. But if there's one thing that sets it apart, it's the fun that you have while you're riding the waves and being one with nature. There's no thrill like it, and you'll soon realize that it is reason enough to ride the waves for the rest of your life. Want to get whiter, brighter skin? FinFab gives you the lowdown in effective skin whitening. Coming up next. And later, smoke out your nasty smoking habit with FinFab's anti-smoking feature. Stay tuned. Week in and week out, we get tons of emails from you guys asking us how you can get lighter and whiter. Uso uso talaga ang skin whitening. That's why when you visit the supermarket or the beauty stores, ang daming products right now claiming to be the most effective skin whitener. Mm -hmm. So to help you guys pick out which products best, we did the dirty work and looked for the best whitening agents and treatments in the market. Be fabulously whiter with tonight's five minutes to fab. Porcelain skin that's radiantly smooth and fair? For most women on this side of the world, this is what it means to be truly beautiful. Skin whitening has been a craze among Pinais for decades. A craze and an industry that has been growing and growing. Even if you're short, even if you're not so pretty, if you're in Asia, you have whiter skin, everyone will pay attention to you. There are many, many products in the market that all promise results in weeks. From daytime to nighttime, there are those various whitening systems to choose from. 
from toners to creams and lotions and whitening essences. It's just a matter of finding out which one works for you. If for the less brave, everyone starts this way. Body scrub with bleach. Then you get addicted because you can see, oh, I'm whitening. Then you maintain using the papaya soaps. Diba? The papaya soaps, the whitening soaps, the whitening lotions. Kung bitin pa, that's when you start the glutathione, and glutathione oral and the injections. Kasi mas mabilis yung injection eh. Kung bitin pa, that's when you start the body peeling and the bleaching. Where you dry up and you peel and you hide from the sun. If you can only spend on one product, you have a cleanser, you have a toner. The most important thing, tipirin mo na lahat. Do not scrimp on the essence. Because the essence is the most potent. Soaps and bleaches are only part of the process. For effective skin whitening, prevention and maintenance are equally as important. Avoid the harmful and darkening rays of the sun by slathering on some good old SPF. If you're indoors, SPF 15 is okay. If you're going out of the house, even if you're just walking to the parking lot, SPF 30 to 50. Don't just get SPF 50, SPF 100. You have to look for someone, someone that says SPF PA++++. Because it means it's a multi-coverage thing. Usually when you say SPF 50, SPF 70, as well as plus plus or only one plus, that only means they're blocking UVB. UVB, to make it easier for you, UVB, make B brown. And UVA, A is for aging. UVB is what makes you dark, those rays. UVA is what ages you. It doesn't stop at applying products to whiten your skin, though. The next and equally important step is maintenance. If you've been consistent with intake of the oral and both the internal medicines that we can give you for about six months, that would be good for a year, but you have to maintain. Kasi kung wala ka rin namang gagawin for sustenance, it's gonna fade away. Kasi syempre, if your activities would involve naman going out under the sun most often, tapos you're not putting protection, syempre babalik at babalik yun. For this reason, some girls wouldn't mind spending big bucks just to get wider quicker, faster, and longer. Just like 24-year-old Jasmine. My family kasi, I'm the only morena. Parang nagiging conscious na ako kasi dahil niloloko ko lagi, di ba? Parang morena ako, tapos kulot pa ako. This, my, I have natural curly hairs kasi, hindi siya masyado bagay pag morena. Mas madali ako makahanap ng clothes, ng colors, kanya, kahit na anong color, bagay na siya. Unlike kasi pag medyo morena ka, di ba? You can't wear ano, parang mga dark colors na parang like red, kanya. Tapos number two, parang mas napapansin kasi. Parang napapansin ng mga tao na parang, uy, pumuputi siya. Parang mas confident ako, parang in everything I do. For the face, I use Obachi. It's a set of medicine no, to make my skin clearer. At the same time, nakakaputi din siya. And then, I also did um, IV glutathione, an injectable glutathione, and maintenance ko yung oral glutathione. For faster results, Jasmine gets weekly whitening IV shots, which, at over 5,000 pesos per injection, is something she really saves up for. Well, these days, na kasi incorporated na yung tinatawag nating internal whitening system. We can start with the IV glutathione or the intravenous injection of glutathione. Number two, we also have the oral glutathione. Those are the things that you can take in. Yes, though. Thank you, though. Parang wala lang, di ba? All these in the name of beauty. Kinney warns, though, against unrealistic expectations and says that there's actually a difference between lightening and whitening your skin. Skin whitening, you want the association is you want white your skin at any cost. It's when you go beyond your natural color, the color you were born with. What you can do is you look at your stomach or the area which is not exposed to the sun. Like that's the whitest you can be. That's if you go with skin brightening. That's the lightest you will bleach. With skin whitening, it's not necessarily safe. You will go to the extent of peeling your skin and, add, and putting harsh ingredients. So it keeps coming off until you reach the white color. Being happy with who you are is the best part. And I wouldn't recommend going white. Going the lightest you can be is what you should aim for. What's important is if your skin is even and smooth. Like Nicole Richie, she's not white. But her skin is beautiful. It's so even though it's, it's color of even caramel. Would you rather be plaster of Paris white or a smooth caramel hun honey brown? And in contrast to Jasmine who wants whiter skin, we have Presh, who's just as happy being brown. During my younger years, I was really complaining about my skin color because all my classmates are white. And it's funny, like when you look at my uh, class pictures, you'd notice me right away because I'm the only one having 
uh, a brown skin color. During high school, I transferred to a non-shiny school, so feeling ko doon, mas pantay na yung labanan. Through the years, I kind of matured, especially when I was in high school. Like, uh, parang I, I see a lot of people now with the same skin color as I do. So, I think, uh, I came to accept, to accept myself na no, it's okay to not to be white. It's just about being comfortable with yourself and what you have. Love your pin eye color? You can still use a tip or two on skin lightening home remedies just to rid yourself of those dark spots and have a more even skin tone. There are products you can find in your kitchen that you can mix and apply on your skin. You can make a paste of oatmeal and tomato juice, milk and powdered orange, and lime juice with grated tomato, all of which help in sloughing off dull skin cells to reveal fresh glowing skin. So, after scouring the city for the best in whitening, Fit and Fab recommends papaya soaps for people with tight budgets, body bleaching to reveal your whitest white, Seki Say whitening products for all-in-one skincare benefits, and when money is no object, try the Obaji Enhancement Set. There's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to be more fair and fabulous, as long as you make sure it's safe. But remember, the more important thing is how you ooze with confidence. Smoking is bad for you, and here's a few good reasons why. Fit and Fab encourages you to quit and quit for good. Coming up next. And later, dress codes making you dizzy? Tonight's Fab Guide is all about helping you dress the part. Stay tuned. Why should you quit smoking? Let me count the reasons. Lung cancer, wrinkles, mm -hmm. yellow teeth, pollution, my god, the list goes on and on. You know what, smoking is just really bad for your period. So if you're a smoker, well, today is your day because if you wanted to quit smoking but never really tried or quit unsuccessfully, here's a few tips on how you can smoke out the nasty habit for good. Filipinos have a nasty smoking habit. In fact, according to the survey conducted last 2003 by the Food and Nutrition Research Institute, almost 35% of our population are smokers. This figure is steadily increasing as more and more people are getting hooked to smoking. More than one-third of the Filipino population are smokers. But what most people don't realize is that every puff of a cigarette poses a serious hazard to their health. Cigarette smoking is dangerous to your health because uh, it can cause a lot of diseases in the body. ina attacks sa puso, o kaya nagkakaroon ng stroke, um, o kaya uh, since paninigarin nito, nagkakaroon ng cancer, at um, nagkakaroon ng tinatawag namin chronic obstructive pulmonary disease o mas alam natin as emphysema. Lung cancer tops the list of cancers that bring the most deaths here in the Philippines and 90% of these patients are smokers. Every uh, stick no, na kukonsume ng isang tao, it takes away about 10 minutes of his life. That is why we see so many people na nagsisigarinyo looking beyond their age. While a single tobacco cigarette stick may seem safe, it contains substances that are harmful to our body, that target our lungs and heart especially. Most recognizable of these substances is nicotine, but in reality, many more dangerous chemicals go with that single three-inch stick. Sa isang stick ng sigarinyo, no, you can already find 2,500 chemicals. Once na you start lighting up that cigarette through the process of combustion, that chemicals increase to more than 4,000. The other na mga chemicals na makikita ma, natin o makukuha natin doon sa paninigarinyo ay yung carbon monoxide. I think everybody knows, parang this is um, odorless gas, walang amoy, pero very toxic. Smoking a cigarette may look glamorous, but in reality, it's really not. Aside from the bad smell and taste it leaves in your mouth, smoking takes up the vitamins and nutrients in your body, making your skin dry and your bones brittle. And there's definitely nothing posh with that. 
the government and our health authorities know these deadly risks that come with every huff and puff of a tobacco stick. That is why every pack of cigarettes we found in the market comes with this warning. But many are still hooked, and the tag left ignored. The nicotine gets absorbed in the brain and it stays there for two hours and then nagkakaroon na ng activities dun sa brain that causes you to feel a bit calmer, no? Sabi mo, ano medyo sed sedating, para nakaka... parang biglang bumababa ng konti yung energy mo. And that's the reason why a lot of yung mga medyo na-agit or natitense na mga tao, nagsusmoke sila para kumalma sila. A group of students gathered together to fight this addiction. They are the Breathe Well Initiative. Their project, create awareness about the dangers of smoking. Ten Filipinos die every hour. So uh, we wanted to uh, think of effective measures which could uh, help people to stop smoking since smoking is very addictive. The Breathe Well Initiative is a group of young and smart people who understand the deadly risks of smoking. I am proud to say that these people are my classmates in law school and I have seen firsthand the impact of their campaign against smoking. Their members know firsthand the dangerous effects tobacco smoking brings. In fact, most Breathe Well members are successful smoke quitters. I didn't want to get sick, but I was feeling ano na, hindi ako masyado heavy smoker, but I felt medyo hindi na okay yung breathing ko eh, sometimes when, when um, I, I walk. With all the ill effects of smoking, the good news is these are all preventable. Because anyone can quit smoking. All it takes is one decision. Kathy Kobochan started smoking as early as 14 years old. By the time she was 19, she was a certified cigarette addict. Kasi nga, all of my friends are doing it. So parang kung, kung kasama ka sa group of people na yun, parang at that age, 14 years old, parang lahat gusto mong gawin, right? So kung yung friends mo, ganun yung ginagawa, ganun din yung gagawin mo. Smoking affected her tonsils and doctors told her to stop her vice. That time na, nag, na, na nagkaroon ako ng sakit, um, sa, sa, so, so, sobrang sore throat, and I was advised na kailangan tanggalin yung, yung, yung tonsils ko because sobrang, sobrang enlarged na siya. So pag hindi ko na stop yung smoking, I'll end up losing my tonsils. With sheer determination and major concern for her health, Kay is now smoke-free. Not all smokers who want to quit are successful. This is one addiction that can easily be kicked off, sometimes needing the help of professionals. Once na talagang um, decidido na siyang maghuminto ng paninigarilyo, then it's best really for him to approach uh, professional help. There are now nicotine replacement pills and even gums in the local pharmacy to aid smokers get rid of the vice. These over-the-counter drugs are considered to be healthier substitute for nicotine without the dangerous effects. Instead na yung sigarilyo yung nagbibigay ng nicotine sa pasyente, uh, yung gum ang nagbibigay ng nicotine. Because smoking is a psychological addiction as well as a physical one, going to counseling sessions may be helpful too. We don't only look at the medical problem of the patient, which is sabi nga natin, the nicotine dependence or the, the tobacco use, but we also look at the underlying issues. Bakit ba siya nagsusmoke? No, baka meron pang ibang issues that are related to the smoking. We give behavioral um, modifications like we do charting, Like, charting means titingnan nila kung nakakailang sticks per day sila. Tapos um, along the process titingnan nila gaano yun na ibabawas nila sticks per day. And then we also do reinforcement of the positive behavior. Limbawa, uh, they were able to overcome a certain uh, tempting situation. You reinforce that. Medical and counseling support aren't the only ways to help you quit smoking. One alternative is through hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy is healing through hypnosis. And what is hypnosis? Hypnosis is a method by which uh, a therapist like me, a healer, a healer of, uh, emotion, of emotions and, and uh, relationship problems and such problems uh, can can uh, help a person solve his own issues without uh, the use of drugs, just by letting the person go into a very relaxed state without falling asleep. Because smoking may be a psychological addiction, going to the root cause of the problem in your mind through hypnosis may help a patient shake off the addiction. 
through hypnotherapy, the hypnotherapist can help the person find the root cause of his problems. And having found the root cause of his problems, the hypnotherapist can then help the person or the client to get over those problems, to overcome those problems, and move on to a better life, to becoming a better human being. I would basically put the person in such a relaxed state that his subconscious mind is receptive to my positive suggestions. Although gaining popularity in the States, hypnotherapy is still in its infant stage here in the Philippines. But hypnotherapist Frances Gloria asserts that putting a patient into hypnosis is totally safe. Whatever means you use to try to quit smoking, whether it be with the help of doctors, counselors, or alternative medicines, the bottom line is your own choice. Nothing beats self-determination. And as you try to remove the effects of nicotine, tar, carbon monoxide, and other harmful substances in your body, replace them with good ones you can get from nutritious food and activities like sports and exercise. Smoking is a choice, so before you make one, to smoke or not to smoke, to quit or not to quit, make sure you consider not only your health, but also the environment and the people around you. Dress codes making you dizzy? Don't worry, our fab guide will help you dress the part when it comes to invitations, only events. Up next on Fit and Fab. And later, problems with being flat-footed? We've got foolproof solutions in tonight's Q&A. Stay tuned. Theron, let's talk about dress codes. You know, from formal, semi-formal, to cocktail, to casual chic. Have you ever been invited to like a party or an event where they have like a really weird dress code? I know, I've had my share of that. But kahit nga magi yung basic na smart casual, nakakalito pa rin yun eh. I'm smart, this is casual. I know, alam mo ako rin, when they see like a formal event, how formal is formal? Well, hindi lang ikaw, hindi lang ako. Dressing up can really be tricky, but fortunately for us, we partnered up with the lovely ladies of Cosmo Mag to give us some expert advice when it comes to dressing the part. Have you ever found yourself at a loss for what to wear to an event? Cosmopolitan Magazine fashion editor Kat D dishes out a fab guide that will have you mastering all the common attires, from casual to formal, in no time. You have the formal, or some would call it black tie. Then there's semi-formal or cocktail. Um, for work, you have the business formal. You have just business, and then you have business casual or casual Friday. And then you have your regular casual, casual uh, dress code or weekend casual. For starters, let's get formal. Well, um, if it's uh, usually if it's a hotel a wedding, you know, if the reception is at the hotel and it's evening, yon malamang it's a formal event. Um, if you're attending a ball, ball, I mean the word itself, no ball talagang. You think gowns and ano, really long dresses. For me, the ano, the safest ano, thing to wear during a formal event is a long dress um, and shoes, uh, dresses uh, that are made of luxurious fabric bricks like satin or silk, you have velvet, and then colors mo usually you go for uh, deep jewel colors like red, purples, um, emerald green. According to Kat, lighter shades of these fabrics like pastels and creams are also acceptable. However, Naman white, white siguro depende kasi baka mapagkamasan kang bride, diba? This is the formal or um, black tie um, outfit. Um, uh, like I mentioned kanina, dapat long gown. And it's um, the fabric, it's, uh, it's a sheer parang chiffon type. And there's beading here, like may mga mini sequins and rice beads. To ano, really make it look um, formal and classy. So for jewelry, uh, let's stick to elegant pieces like you know, crystal uh, drop earrings. The same bracelet that they made of um, mga crystal rhinestones. Anything jeweled, yung mukha talagang mayaman yung accessories mo. Huwag kang magpa-plastic, huwag kang mag-wooden kasi off yun, diba? It doesn't have to be real. Um, you can, there are a lot of inexpensive jewelry na parang fancy, no, made of gems. 
And then yung bag natin, uh, mag tayo magdadala ng malaking bag. I iwan natin yun sa bahay, pang opisina lang yun. Let's stick to uh, little uh, purses or clutches that match your outfit. The key word for formal is elegant. That applies to each article of clothing and indeed each accessory. Glide into the party in a pair of strappy high-heeled sandals embellished with jewels and you'll be sure to sparkle. And in the world of fashion, what exactly does cocktail mean? Minsan pag party, no? let's say party sa isang bar or maybe in a uh, high, fine dining place, yan, cocktail. Um, minsan may weddings na cocktail for those couples na ayaw naman nilang super formal yung wedding nila. Um, minsan rin may mga business functions na um, let's say after office hours and then it's not uh, a business, a strictly business affair, um, cocktail event rin siya. Your safest um, choice would be uh, a short, a short knee length dress. And um, with regards to what color, same rin. Actually, with the formal, you can wear jewel colors, you can wear like lighter pastel ones. It's all in the design. It's also all about the detail. Like, this dress has um, sequins inside, a trim. Then you have the bow, and then the fabric also is uh, luxurious. So this is parang silk satin. In accessorizing a semi-formal outfit, Medals with gemstones add a bit of fun to an outfit without diminishing its elegance. As far as the accessories, yan, ano ren, this is like pearls pero dangling. And then we have, um, this is like a metal cuff with stones. And then for the, for the bag, yan, satin clutch ren. Kanina yung may handle, ngayon naman yung hinahawakan mo lang. And then meron siyang embellishment, diba? So it really looks formal. And for the shoes, um, it's just strappy gold sandals. Now that we've covered all of our party dress needs, it's time to talk business. Suit up and take a confident stride into the thick of things. It's really a suit. You have to wear a suit. Um, you could wear a skirt or pants, but you need a jacket. No loud colors. Um, stick to subdued uh, use like brown, navy, gray, or black. And then, siguro just add an element of fashion to it by wearing a nice blouse, spreading printed, pero again, discreet dapat yung print, no? nothing loud or talagang agaw pansin. Accessories should be kept simple and low-key. A pair of stud pearl earrings does the job quite nicely. Nothing should be too big, nothing should be too noisy. No, dapat pag gumalo ka, hindi maririnig yung mga suit mong bangles. A pair of closed-toe pumps and a structured bag to hold all your business paraphernalia complete the power ensemble. Now, when it comes to your everyday workwear, your outfit may be a bit more relaxed, but equally respectable. Marami sa atin, mga companies, no? um, they have a dress code, but they're not very strict with it. So, um, huwag ka naman mag-jeans or shorts, di ba? Um, ito yung mga slacks, um, slacks, um, a skirt. Yung skirt mo, you don't have to stick to the pencil cut. Pwede kang may konting balloon style, di ba? Pero, never, uh, never too short. Nothing too sexy, walang overexposure ng skin or cleavage. Yung skirt mo dapat uh, always, like, siguro at the very least, uh, an inch above the knee. Pero preferably, length siya or yun, huwag super ikla. So this is for a business look and it's very, ano pa, it's very professional looking. But it's, it has a twist to it because of the print. So as you can see, it's a little bit more um, adventurous. Pero still, um, when you notice, the patterns maliit maliit pa rin hindi pa rin super laki and the color is still very you know work appropriate no? so it's just blue and beige and then um, this is what we call the wrap dress the wrap style dress so yan para siyang gumaganon and it's very flattering actually it will suit a lot of body types even curvy figures so for accessories um, it's also more um, more adventurous diba kanina pearls lang ngayon nag gold chains naman tayo but it's still very um, classic look and um, hindi siya, hindi pa rin siya super, ano, super out there. So, I even layered two chains so one has a little um, more detail to it.
And then for the bag, yan, um, it's just a, a handbag. Um, it's a bit big, so you can store all your um, work stuff in it. And for the shoes, ayan, nag ano naman tayo, peep toe. Peep toe shoes, um, but still closed at the back, so still safe for work. Thank God it's Friday. Time to get a little relaxed, at least clothes-wise. Okay, so ito naman na ating um, casual Friday look. Yeah, and she's wearing jeans, but then if you notice the cut and style of the jeans, para parin siyang slack. So it's still um, very work appropriate. And then you can be a little bit more experimental when it comes to your top. So I made her wear something printed, graphic prints, and then even the accessories are more funky. And it's the last day of the work week. One may indulge in some fashionable open-toed heel sandals. And when all the work is done, it's time to enjoy the weekend and slip into something more comfy. Weekend casual, it's actually anything goes. Because this is just your, you know, day off, diba? Parang, ano, relax, relax ka lang. So you can wear shorts, diba? You can wear a nice dress. So since it's the weekend, you don't have work, you can be uh, more fun with your outfit. So I chose um, this um, jumper, jumper shorts. Yeah. And, and then the nice thing about this is you can wear so many um, different kinds of tops with it. No? Like, like this one is just like a plain um, long sleeve shirt, but I rolled up, rolled up the sleeves by it's very fresh. And then um, new bright colors um, with, with accessories. Yeah. And the new shoes, yeah, and very funky then, stripes no wedge. Very comfy, but at the same time, very trendy pa rin siya. Formal, business casual, cocktail, semi-formal? The question is, with our country's laid-back culture and fashion sense, is it still really important for us to follow these dress codes? You want to give the impression that um, you take care of yourself and you value yourself. And it also helps you um, meet the right people, right? If you dress well, then they impress sila sa you. Remember these tips and shift from relaxed weekend warrior to driven career woman to glittering guest in a formal affair with ease and style. Don't fall flat with your flat feet. Our Fit and Fab experts tell us how you can be fab while being flat. Coming up next. This week's Q&A comes from viewer Melanie Sarabia. Melanie wrote, Hello there. I'd like to know all of the things that a flat-footed person should do and should not do, especially when it comes to sports. Thank you and more power to your show. Max, if you're flat-footed, it means you don't have your arm. So I guess it kind of makes it harder for you to run, right? You know what? I think you're right there. But instead of second-guessing, we turn to our Fit and Fab fitness experts for some fitness and footwear tips for flat-footed people. Flat-footed people don't tread on their condition lightly. You know, it's hard for me to work out or just do simple walking or jumping because I'm flat-footed. But wait, what does it mean exactly when one has flat feet? Flat-footed is a condition where if you, if you look at your foot on the inside of the foot, underneath it, there's a, normally what we call an arch. So that when you put your foot on the floor, your weight on it, there's a part of the foot on the inside part that's not touching the floor. You, those who have flat feet, when they stand up, uh, that part of the foot touch, still touches the ground. Being flat-footed is either inborn or acquired. Those who acquire it get it from an injury to the back of their feet, being overweight or wearing ill-fitting shoes with no arch support over time. It is simple to find out if you are flat-footed. All you need to do is wet your feet and step on a dark piece of paper. The footprint will tell you what you need to know. Normal-footed people have a footprint with a gap in the middle where the arch usually is, while flat-footed people have no gap. Having flat feet may not seem like a big deal, but did you know that it can prevent people from leading a very active lifestyle? When your arch falls, that's, what, that's another term for, uh, for flat-footing, fallen arch, it makes your foot unstable, no? So every time you put weight on it, let's say for example in sports running, no? it makes the effort of running harder. Consequently, it puts more strain on the other parts of the foot. So one of the things that you'll suffer there will be pain. Siyempre, consequently, if you're in sports, it will make uh, the sports harder, you won't perform as well. 
but don't fall flat on your flat feet. There are numbers of ways on how to alleviate any discomfort caused by having no arch. The easiest and most simplest of which is, of course, exercise. It is important for you to stretch your back leg to your heel or Achilles. Lean against a wall with one leg in front of the other. Bend your front knee like you're trying to push the wall. The back leg, on the other hand, should remain straight to give you a really good stretch. This warm-up helps relieve and prevent the pain at the back of your legs. You could also use a towel. Just wrap it around the middle of your foot and then stretch your leg by pushing the towel outwards. They just have to uh, take note in stretching their calf muscles because most of these people, they have uh, tight uh, calf muscles. So they, just, they, they should just uh, give particular attention to that. You can also do the towel curl exercise. Stop on one side of a towel, then use your toes to curl or bring the towel towards the back of your foot. This helps exercise the small muscles of your foot to support an arch. If exercises and warm-ups aren't enough, why not try donning a pair of correctional shoes? Wearing proper footwear with good arch support is the best way to relieve pain from flat-footed feet. That is why there are correctional shoes or arch supports. Inserts and insoles that you could add to your shoes to help support your flat feet. But for really extreme cases, it's better to check with your doctor if you need surgical correction. We usually do that in uh, those who have really bad symptoms, who have uh, congenital flat feet, and that their bones are misaligned, uh, and that no matter no amount of using corrective shoes or inserts will give them uh, good function or pain-free function. Just give your feet a little extra TLC and you can walk around the problems of your flat feet. We hope that with tonight's features, we've encouraged you to make that lifestyle change because change is always for the better. And please don't forget to write to us at finifab at gmanetwork.com. We always love hearing from you guys. Once again, I am Maggie Wilson. And I'm Tarelli Kairos. We'll see you again next week only here on... Fit and Fab!